Yep, that's me. The world's greatest horror writer. Bradley Snow, author of Andy. Speaking about horror, we have a presidential election coming up. Maybe the most important ever in the history of the United States, maybe for that matter, for the history of the world. But the outcome of this one will directly change how, how, how the world operates. Maybe it's what the Mayans saw. It's, it's 2012, and it's pretty close. <laughs> and Ohio. Definitely a battleground state. That, that, that's where, where the whole kit and caboodle may, may be well, won or lost is right there. Uh, but I hope they aren't as bad as the Buckeyes, you know, with all those, you know, tattoos and all that and getting suspended and this and that. I hope that Romney and Obama aren't out there, you know, you know, trading tattoos for votes or something. That, 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 that wouldn't fit good. But I, but I do wonder what, what happened to the old days when it was supposed to be two parties with the same views on things. They, they, but you just, they just had different approaches, and, that, and that's what the public was voting on, was which party best had the approach to do everything you know, correctly. But both parties agreed, basically, on what America was, and is, and what it should be. Today, not, not so much. T today, I find it's just so full of hatred. Like, like, like on my fa Facebook page every day, I read what um, uh, other people say. Like the, when the people put their political rants. I mean, it, it's hatred. It's like, um, you know, the Boston Bruins, New York Rangers, you know, like the Yankees and, and the Red Sox. It is hatred between Democrats and Republicans. It's not the way it's supposed to be. They're basically supposed to be the same party, just with different views on how to work the economy, how to work foreign affairs, and, and this and that. Oh, and so, as I said, the hatred. It, like, there, there's two Americas right now. That there's no no doubt about it in, in my mind. The election is going to determine which America will be the bigger one. Guaranteed, we're going to get a separation out of this. You're going to have uh, a lot of the uh, cap capitalistic type people, rich people, both Democrat and Republican, flocking to Texas. Texas is going to say, bye-bye, no more, we're, 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 we're gone. Because right now the, uh, the Democrats in power and, and, and the Democrats that want to maintain power they don't like Texas that much. They don't like Republicans at all. That is, at least if you're to believe everything. And backing up to the two parties having, you know, supposed to be having similar beliefs and that. Yeah, I find one party today, well, one party is pro-life. The other one is pro-death. There's no other way to put it. And it could be illustrated furthermore in... The different approaches they have to the war on terror. That's if I'm allowed to use the word terror. Um, one of the parties believes in capturing the combatants, the enemy combatants. They want to capture them, get information, and try to stop things. Uh, sometimes they splash water in the faces of, of some of the, the enemy combatants. But they know they're going to live. The other party, well, they're against that. They, they don't like water being splashed in people's faces. They would much rather just go in and get a drone and, and, and kill the person. Doesn't matter if they're guilty or innocent. Kill them. Get rid of them. Wipe them off the earth. Like, you know, <laughs> none, none, none of this. We don't need to get information. We just got to kill them all. That's what, that's what I mean. One party, pro-life, supports life in all aspects, whether it's... Uh, birth control or whether it's war. The other party, now, pro-death, like they, they, they want to, well, kill babies, kill combatants, kill the other party, it seems like. 
And yes, I wouldn't be too surprised if th there is a, a civil war coming out of this. Like, the sides are definitely separating the way I see it, and especially with my the hatred shown from my Facebook friends is, is simply unbelievable. Um, we will keep an eye on things in the, in the future. We, we, we hope that the madness gets straightened out. But, but keep in mind, there's this place here, Ohio. Keep an eye out there, boys and girls. That's 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 the the center stage. That's that's the main attraction. Until next time, this is your roving political correspondent who will give you the truth. None of this spin or no spin. I'll give you the truth. At least the truth according to the world's greatest living horror writer. Signing out until next time.